There you go. To video. Hi, John. Hello. How are you today? I am well. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. I'm Hi, too. Tiffany. <laughs> it's on. Yeah. It's recording. <laughs> well, do you have something you want to talk about today? Well, I, I do. Um, I wanted to talk to those who may be listening. Um, I want to say that uh, there are a lot of you that, that don't, don't really know me, but you have seen me. And sometimes you have seen me on corners, and you see me on the different corners, and, and you'd be wondering what I'm doing while you're riding your automobile. <laughs> I'd be preaching. I'd be preaching God's Word. And I think the words you get around to a lot of us. Um, I'd be preaching love to, to all. And I don't mean any harm by that, by, by doing that to, 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 to one, because I believe God uh, sent his angels to send me. I'm just that worm on God's hook, you know, the, the fishing hook part. And, and that's all I am. Um, I'm not here. I don't. I have. I don't hurt anybody. I don't believe in hurting anybody. I believe in believe in loving everybody, every single soul that's on the earth. I believe we come to the earth. We come to the earth for one another, and we go to wherever all go. Um, we have to join. We. we I'm, I'm a man that believes that God put us together. And he doesn't want his painting apart. Mm -hmm. He wants us all to be together, or uh, a lot of us would have not come. We would have not come uh, uh, to God's uh, portrait, so to speak. Everything that you see, that you came in light to to see, you see in this schoolhouse that I talk about to so many people. That is nothing but a schoolhouse that we are in because you can learn anything and everything. You can learn from a piece of paper to a rock, you know, and which that is beautiful because God, God, God showed us the way. Uh, I'll, I'll teach you the Lord himself, God. I believe in God, but the reason I believe in God is because I have a grandma and I, I, and I had a grand, grandpa. I had, I had a grandpa. And my grandma and grandpa always believed in God, mm. even when I was a little baby. And I and I sometimes I didn't understand this God or or whatever I've seen shouting and all that in in churches and things like that. And I grew up with, with, with that type of love in my heart. I'm glad for that because I believe it was my protection through the life that I have went that I have gone through. Uh, as far as my age, you know, um, uh, I, 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 I don't tell anybody my age, but there are some people out there that know because <laughs> they, they, they uh, uh, I've been through uh, certain things and they know about it. But I don't tell everybody my age, but I tell you that I am an old man now. And, 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 and by having God within my heart, it kept me here for a long period of time. And I hope that it keep, keeps me here for a longer period of time because I have many things that I would like to offer to those who need help uh, or not help with the material things or help with anything of the, the earth, but just help mental uh, 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 with talking to you or, or saying something to your problems or, or anything. You know, it's, it's, it's better sometimes to talk to a stranger than to talk to moms or dad or grandma or grandpa because sometimes you are ashamed to talk to them. But I, I, I invite it, any kid to come to me if they choose to come to me and to sit down and talk about their problems. Uh, also invite adults. If they, if they, if they uh, wish to come to me to sit down and talk with me, I invite you. Don't be, a, don't be afraid of me because I am not to be feared. Uh, I'm your brother. Uh, I'm your black brother, mm -hmm. so to speak, as man say, <laughs> black and white. I'm your black brother, and I believe in all colors being my sisters and brothers. Um, uh, I, I, I tell the story of, of the water. The water have all colors in it. 
and you go down to the beach and if you look at that water the water have all oh, there's some black there there's some blue there there's some green there and there's some things that look like the sky of that water and that's all colors and and, and a lot of times that water gets separated from the water and when it gets separated by being in your cup you take your cup and you drink the water and then that water uh, has to go back down the drain and it returns to the sea so it has to go back home uh, water loves water and you can't keep it uh, from loving it uh, if you got a pool and, and out your backyard there's a pool of water and that and that water uh, if you think that water don't go back to the sea you'll see the sun drawing in, drawing that water up from your pool into the clouds until the clouds get gets huge and bursts and then when it bursts it returns to the sea it doesn't go right back down in your pool and so the water is a family just like anything else that God had painted on his canvas he wanted it to be family the flowers are family the trees are family the, the birds are family the, the beans are family the, 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 the animals are family the giraffes are family you, uh, you have different bears that are family and, and but they're all different colors but they're still family and this is what God wanted us to see see sometimes you have to look at it in heavenly's eyes and not man's eyes man made it hard for us to look in his in, in his vision but God made it easy he gave us a silver platter by, 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 by giving us life how easy is that by giving us life how easy is it that he gave us eyes to see uh, how easy he could have closed our eyes up that we could not see and that would have made it hard and so but it's easy in, in God's eyes that's why the word says look for heavenly things see and not of the earth because if you're looking at the earth you look in the man way and man will make everything seem hard to you and man will will take everything and turn it against you and when it turns against you you be like a wild man if you if you're doing nothing but wrong things all the time in your life wrong don't bring no right and if you're doing things wrong, you're going to explode. There's some people that, 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 that's, that's all into the wrong. And when they're into the wrong, they end up uh, going up on top of a roof and getting themselves a gun and start shooting everything. And then they turn the gun on themselves. Or they'll go up on the roof and they'll fall off because they can't stand all that comes in. It's only because they're, they're, they're practicing the wrong in their, their head. And they don't turn that power around. See, that's the thing is, people don't turn the power around. When people do things to you and all that sort of stuff, they don't take that energy and turn it around, which God wants you to turn it around. That's why he opens the door so you can see the wrong. And then you just take that power of God that God give you and turn it around against the wrong. You turn the, the right around against the wrong and you just keep on turning the right around against the wrong and you won't find yourself into that mold, that, that, that uh, 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 eagle's nest of wrongness. See, there's an eagle's nest of wrongness and God showed it on the cross. Mm -hmm. He showed it on the cross of a, of, 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 of a robber and a murderer on the cross with him. That's one of, one of the important important uh, 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 commandments that God showed on the cross and he wanted us to see that so we have to get the wrong out of the out of, out of out we have to take the wrong out of the wrong and give it right so that's why he says love your enemy he, it, we, we got to know how to do that if America would, would would stand up the ones that's trying to do right would stand up against the wrong and, 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 and stop being afraid, stop being afraid to die for, for what is wrong for the future kids, all the little kids that you have and you see around the world. I mean all kids, I'm talking about I don't care where they're from, China, I don't care where they are, they're still for the future, our future. Because we as adults gonna gonna come back as being children. We won't be able to see so well. We won't be able to walk so well. We won't be able to eat so well. And these kids are gonna have to be our future and they're gonna have to put food in our mouth. And they're gonna have to see for us as we go across the street. They're gonna have to do things for us. So we must prepare uh, the earth for the righteous for our kids because you wouldn't want your, your child to eat 
wrong food out of a plate, you know, and die from it. 